Welcome to Greer Overload. Now, Copilot Plus PCs, but from Microsoft, was my last video, and I've been doing some research on the recall feature because that while it looks interesting, I'm trying to figure out why would I want something like this. And the next big question, too, was is this going to be just a security vector? And it looks like that's going to be the case. Now, Microsoft said that this is only going to be local and that it's not going to be on any Microsoft system. Microsoft's not going to be have access to it. But we've seen in the past of all the telemetry that Microsoft sends, them sending more and more stuff over, and that being a security risk and of everything that they do send over for the advanced part of their diagnostic data. And even in the grand scheme of things, Microsoft is out for Microsoft. We don't look as Microsoft out for the consumer security. And the reason why we know this and one big reason is right in your face every single time you load up Windows, which is more and more ads are going into Windows. And if Microsoft was really concerned about the consumer, they would be making sure backing off of that, just making this an OS that then had the features that users wanted to use and not add in stuff to profit off of the consumer. So. The, this leads me into the security part of it, which is, is Microsoft going to do the best options of security for these types of uh, these types of things? And I don't think that they are going to, right? If they're, I, I think that the uh, step that they should have took is using AI to be able to secure the laptop. And what I mean by that is that they had an opportunity here to add in a whole bunch of AI features. And one of them could be is probably taking, you know, Windows Defender and taking a step up of making it like a Windows AI Defender. Now, <laughs> if you go in some of my other naming videos, you know I would have probably hated that name. But the, the reason why I add that in is that you could have had the assistance there of the NPU to really help and identify maybe threats that may be on the system or may have potentially come in, right? Um, key loggers, everything else that are there and assess that, whatever, you know, ransomware, whatever, to help block and detect and remove it or, you know, so before anything horrible happens. Now, if Microsoft would have taken that route with their uh, Copilot PCs and made that a selling feature, I would be probably more on the side of Microsoft's taking a step of trying to make sure the customer is more secure. But this co Copilot recall feature is taking a screenshot of every, you know, thing you do. So, and then you can then type into it and search based upon prior stuff, and it's using AI to analyze it and go through. And it's going to take up anywhere from 25 to 50 gigs, depending upon how long the storage is. I guess default, from what I've seen, is about three months. Um, and they go through this, and you can have three months of data of all these screenshots, and Microsoft's analyzing it. And, you know, you need, let's say, BitLocker, everything else is on the machine. What happens if somebody were to get access to that? And Microsoft insists that this is only going to be on your PC. And all I can think in my head is the initial iteration is only on your PC. We've seen this with, um, you know, it's not related to security as much, but we've seen this with cloud gaming. We want to have games that process stuff on the cloud. The initial part was the games that you ran locally. Now it's the games that you can, you know, have stuff run in the cloud, and then it's the games that are only run on the cloud, right? That kind of the iteration there, I think, we could go into gaming some other time of how I think that that model um, is, has changed a lot from when Microsoft initially done it, but they want to leverage their, you know, large models that they have, their large compute farms, and make money off of there somehow, right? They want to make money off the consumer, so how is this going to do that? And that's what I come back to, because, again, throwing ads everywhere, Microsoft has not, and having opt-outs for everything, I think that's another I, that's a really security risk is having everything be an opt-out instead of an opt-in shows you that you are consumer first and centric. Now, there you can see places where Microsoft goes through and says with Sasha Nadella, their CEO, saying, you know, I'm for security. If we have to choose in between security or um, secu what is he, security or another priority, the answer is do security. And we all know that that's not the case for Microsoft there. Let's have more telemetry data. Um, yeah, that all sounds good. Let's do this. Let's, uh, you know, everyone had concerns about Windows 11 when it came out with everything Microsoft more has access to, requiring the Microsoft account 
um, instead of just a local account, right? That doesn't go bode towards all having be more secure. That bodes in terms of being more online ask us, right? I can make a computer really secure, just keep it offline, right? Local account it, right? <laughs> that no one's gonna get access to that unless you're physically there. So there <laughs> there's decisions that Microsoft has done that made it a little bit interesting. And now you while you can from what I've read is that you can turn off recall at certain times, pause it, not allow it to do program. But just think, you're writing a confidential letter. You open up a confidential PDF that's in the browser, and all of a sudden that, that pops up in a browser instead of the program that you wanted to pop into. That gets screenshot. Then somebody were to able to get in through whatever way. I'm, you know, No software is, as I've said in other places, is 100% secure. You just have to harden against those attacks as much as possible. And all of a sudden, somebody is searching through using your local data and has it, takes all those screenshots, dumps them down. You happen to open up a page that had all your passwords on it, and now they have all of that. There is a, I think, an endless amount of stuff here um, going through. And I was listening to what Chris Titus Tech. Um, he did a video on this as well, a good video. Go check him out. Um, I enjoy listening to him. And he has a tool to kind of, you know, take some of the junk off of Windows <laughs> Um, and you know kind of harden it against itself because of Microsoft's poor ability to think and um, these are things that while you may be able to continue to do it is this another step in the direction where we have to start looking at what of our Linux options out there to kind of start moving away from Linux you know I I don't know if Linux will ever take over Windows in the desktop user space, but if it does, I do not think that Linux will be overpowering Windows. I think Windows is going to destroy itself and point to you wanting to go have to use um, Linux, and Linux is going to grow based upon that and have the power based upon those type of th things. I. I get what they were trying to do here, but you know, the last time they had a feature of all this history, it didn't really work well. How many people used it? I'm, I'm really curious of how many people really wanted to use that feature. In fact, so many people used it, and so many people loved that feature that Microsoft decided to take it away. <laughs> That's how many people there were, right? And now they're bringing this whole recall feature back. Well, you have the AI, and you can do it with the MPUs and process this. The security side of it is starting to get more and more daunting, um, and Microsoft is keep adding different things into here. I, I feel like they're trying to put their best foot forward with this, but your past actions of what you've done, Microsoft, really puts it in a predicament of how, if we're supposed to be trusting you with doing stuff like this. I know there will probably be a lot of people that, well, hopefully, a lot. Of, thank goodness that a lot of PCs <laughs> cannot run this today. And that if you get an update, you are going to not be able to use it because you need a Qualcomm uh, Elite processor or Qualcomm X or whatever it's called. Um, Qualcomm processor for this. I guess Intel and AMD will be in the future, but uh, processors. But at least we know for sure uh, stuff that's out today probably is not going to be included in the Copilot Plus PCs. You know, like I said in my last video, why didn't you just use this with? The MPUs that are already out. If you're going to gate it based upon series, well, I think that's going to leave more and more people out of this because more and more people are just going to be like, yeah, I, you know, maybe this is a good feature. And now you have, because of the delay of these PCs, there's security problems. Uh, my device is not going to use it. And then when they finally get to a PC that may have it, it'll be of everyone just as being more, more likely something you probably have to turn off because of the security stuff. And then a lot of people will just either turn it off or not, you know, have it. And we'll see. I mean, I'm just thinking one security flaw, one security flaw with this, I think that's going to be a major detriment to everybody watching this stuff and watching AI. You know, we see a lot of AI talk and a lot of AI branding and a lot of AI in um, quarterly financials. And the one thing I keep coming back to and seeing is how much AI has been actually, um, you know, tested out in the environment to see if people are actually wanting to buy it. 
And the more and more stuff I read about it is that it's not that people want to go buy the AI stuff. They're really questioning if what is AI useful for them for. And if you can't answer that question, we're going to be. But with that, I want to say thank you guys for listening. Let me know what your security concerns are about this Copilot Plus. Um, I, I find that there would be so much other things that you could do with the AI and the MPU and, the, and being able to do this besides just recall and um, you know maybe they could have had a more interesting feature but this is where Microsoft is starting but let me know what your thoughts are on this whole recall feature in the comments below I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say I want to thank you so much for watching Gray Overload liking subscribing hitting the bell icon and watching another one of my videos as that really does help out the channel and until next time God bless